So I showed you an example of a checkbox here. Let's take a look at it here. So I'll also tell you about radio buttons here. Another important aspect of any Android application is the radio button. So the radio button can be used in two ways. One is the radio group and one is Abhinash is asking me here, uh, can you show me multiple checkboxes? I'll just show it to you. So what do you want? Uh, you want me to create multiple checkboxes in this particular example, Avinash? All right. I'll go to the main .xml here. Go to the graphical representation. Pull out another checkbox here. Place it here. Pull out another checkbox here. Place it here. Pull out, pull out another checkbox. Place it here. So Avinash, uh, I'll also cover the radio radio button here in this particular code snippet. Is this fine with you? You can quickly write on the chat button. Okay. So what I'll do here is I'll also put a radio button beneath the checkboxes. So I'll be covering two things here. One is the checkbox and one is the radio button. So I have got all these values in the main.xml here. Once I do a control S, I have to create these objects. So I'll just do it. I have created, let me just tell you, I have created one, two, three, four. Four checkboxes here. All right. So I need to have those four variables here. So I'll do a check one, check, check one, check two, and check three. Similar to that, I'll also create an object for the radio button here. And I'll say it as radio one. Create the references. I'll say check one. Let's say check box one. Again, the references. I'll say check two. Check box two. Again, the references. Check three. Say checkbox 3. So similarly you can attach the various on check change listener to all the checkboxes. Now I'll also take a radio button here. Radio 1. I'll just find it by ID. Radio button 1 and then can also attach I can also attach an on click listener on check change listener to the radio button set on check change listener new on check change listener terminate this with a semicolon use the same toast message that I have already used here control V and say the radio button is checked or not all right so what I'm doing here is I have also I have added four checkboxes here out of which I have added the on check change listener with only one and similarly I have added one more radio button so these are these are the various checkboxes as you can see here multiple checkboxes on onto the screen then on just below that we have a radio button so if I click on the radio button here here it says the radio button checked is true similarly if I click on it again it won't be getting off because radio button is like you all might be know is the mutually exclusive thing so once it is checked it always gets checked Abhinash is asking me a question sir we can check multiple checkboxes at a time and only one radio button then what about the toggle button what uh, Abhinash uh, didn't get your question can you come again with uh, how actually you want to put this question
I mean in toggle button how many buttons can we make? Abhinash, it is like a very much uh, the only difference between a checkbox and a toggle button is in terms of the user interface only because it gives you an on and off feel with the toggle button and unchecked and unchecked feel with it when we use it with the checkboxes. The only difference between say a checkbox and radio button uh, checkbox and the toggle button is in terms of the user interface only. Right? And when I talk about the radio button, so what the actual behavior of a radio button is that it lets you allow to, uh, it lets you allow only to select only one value so since this i have a single radio button here but i can place multiple radio buttons in a radio group which i'll just take now so this uh, i think then then it will be more clear to you when i'll be taking you through an example of a radio group so i hope this is clear the difference between a toggle button and a checkbox is clear to you abhinash Now I'll take you through another example of a radio group here. So this radio button which I have created here, I'll place it in a radio group here. So now let's quickly make it a radio group here so I have one radio button here I'll place another one beneath that I'll place another one beneath that similarly I'll place four radio buttons here I go to the main.xml here as you can see all the four radio buttons are coming up here now what I can do is I can place these radio buttons in a radio group all right I'll just finish it off here. So what I have done here is I have placed these radio buttons in a radio group. Just need to give it a height and width attribute here. <coughs> Layout height, I say wrap content. Width, I say fill parent. Width, I say it as fill parent. So this is, I'm good to go with the radio group here. So this you can see here, this is the radio buttons. I think I have missed one radio group, radio button from the radio group. I'll just list over. Yes. So I had missed one radio button from the radio group. As you can see, these are the four radio group, radio buttons. And if I click on right a little, you can see the complete view, which is the of the radio group, right? And now what I can do here is, instead of placing any, say, item on the radio group, I'll just give it an ID here. And I say add the rate plus ID slash radio group. All right. And now instead of using the radio button here, what I'll do is I'll take an object of a radio group here. All right, and I'll just find this as the radio group. All right, and once I'm done with this, I'll just change the casting as well. On and on this object, what I'll do here is I'll just delete this all, and I say set on item I'll just see what we have here I'll just see what options we have here on check change listener I'll choose the on check change listener here I'll say new on check change listener I just do a close here import all 
I'll just see why it is showing up errors a little, little. Just delete this app. I just don't know. I just do a clean here. I don't know why it is showing up all the projects. Uh, I don't know why it is showing up errors in this. I'll do it again. Radio 1. Let me just see whether I have missed anything here. I have created a radio group, referenced it with a radio group, and then let me just check. Okay, this is fine. And say on. I say on. Check change list now. I say a new. On check change list now. Once I do that, it is asking me I have already unimplemented it. Just see what the problem here is. Uh, in the type running it was not near compound button dot on check change this now. I think I have done a wrong import here. This import is of the compound button. I'll just see what I'll say this is the compound button and this is the actual import that I need to make. Now I think this is giving me some errors. I just commented out. So we'll be using only radio buttons here. I'll just comment this, delete this up. And now what I'll be doing is I'll be using a toast here to show me what element I have selected. All right. And let's say the radio button selected. I'll say selected is, and I say I say checked ID. All right, I just display it up. I'll just see why the imports were not working because this is actually strange. Why my Eclipse is not detecting the imports correctly? I think I have run the wrong example here. Okay, I think let's see what we have up here. Here I have the radio button here. So I can have the IDs of the various radio buttons that I'm presently selecting, as you can see on the screen here. So if I have to have the various switch cases, I can use the switch cases with the help of these IDs now. I hope this, is, this example of radio buttons is clear to everyone. I think Avinash has again a question here. So you have added listener to the radio group, but and not to the button. Can you explain why that why I don't got why you did so? The reason why I, ha I have attached a listener to the group is because since now all my radio buttons are a part of the group that I'm using it for and not a standalone components. So if I'm taking it as a group, I can actually attach the listeners onto the group and then just get the, those IDs whichever get selected and do a switch case and just uh, do a toast notification on all. So that is the reason why I actually did this because instead of creating four on-click listeners for all the four radio buttons, because I'm actually putting it up in a group so I can select any one of the group. So instead of having four on-click listeners, I just need to have the one on-check change listener for the radio group. So that is the, the reason why I did it on the group and not on, not on the radio buttons itself. So I think radio buttons, check boxes, and the radio group is clear to everyone. If you have any queries, any concerns, 
Abhinash is asking me in the question, so the radio button are the same of the Java radio buttons as yes, the context of the radio button is same for the Java uh, in Android as well. So here is an example for it. Shibam is asking me a question, can you please show an example of default check? Yes, I can do that. So if I want to say have this radio button checked, I'll just go into the main.xml here and I say I'll just see what is the property here. I say checked and I say checked equal to true. So if I take a look at the graphical representation, you can see it is already checked by default. So this is the attribute that you can, you can use. It works for both the checkboxes as well as for the radio buttons. I hope this is clear to everyone. Shivam, I think you got the response that you wanted. This is what you wanted to ask. Okay, now let's move ahead. So Abhinash is coming up with question again, sir, so if I want to select two radio buttons, then I need to have two different radio groups, right? If we, uh, suppose if I have to select two radio buttons out of say eight radio buttons, I can place them in a single, uh, in a say in two radio groups, wherein out of the four I can select anyone and another out of the four I can select anyone. So it's like that only. That's correct Abhinash. Okay. 